Greetings my dear friends, Dragon here once again. Sorry it has been such a long time since I've been able to upload any videos. I've been away in China and in Hong Kong, had a pretty incredible time and came back to a whole bunch of mail including this very, very special present parcel from my dear friend Kevin Smith who has managed to, to track down an unbelievable amount of goodies for me. I think he had a recent trip away in Korea and Japan and was very kind to pick me up a few bits and pieces when he was across. So, this one we will jump into first, looking very much like a sort of Chinese scroll case. I feel like I should be giving this to the Emperor for possibly a secret Kung Fu training manual perhaps. But no, in fact, this is a little wee promotional poster from the, the recent release of Pharrell My Concubine, which is one of my wife's favourite Leslie Chung films. And we'd asked Kevin to keep an eye out for the promo poster, which he was able to find. My wife is still away in China, but when she gets back, she's going to be extremely stoked to see this. Beautiful and beautifully wrapped by Kevin to make sure that it got to me in one piece. It survived the very long journey back from Japan intact. We should keep that inside a special case. And the other box, I kind of know what's in here. Um, and it is an unbelievable selection of things that I've been after for a very, very long time. Kevin is absolutely my holy grail detective. If there's something that I'm really struggling to track down, Kevin usually is able to help me out. Um, he has some incredible connections, particularly in Korea, for tracking stuff down at far more reasonable prices. And some of the cases, just getting access to some of these things is my own impossible. So, I can see right at the very top of the box something very rare already. Let's put the box to one side. And this is the Nova Media release of Tarsim Singh's The Fall. Uh, Tarsim uh, directed uh, The Cell with Jennifer Lopez and The Fall. I think he did one of the uh, sort of weird spin-off Snow White stories, the better looking one, um, I think it was called Mirror Mirror with Julia Roberts, but always visually a really, really fascinating director. A really nice full slip. Great film, really a kind of one that's quite whimsical, but visually so, so stunning. Uh, this is the very long out of print version uh, with our little photo booklet with few essays, I think essays all in Korean, if I know a mix, we get a mix of English and Korean inside the book. But yeah, such incredible costume work. Just a really, really visually fascinating movie about an injured stuntman recovering in hospital and meets this young girl and starts basically telling her this kind of fairy tale. And so a lot of what you see is him telling her this story which she kind of imagines herself as being in. So it's like the stuntman and the little girl. But yeah, so, so cool. Uh, just really, truly amazing costumes. Um, all of his movies visually look so sumptuous. It's kind of very, very cool seeing this on Blu-ray because previously I only had it on DVD. Very cool indeed. I'll pack that back in later. So yeah, that is the fall. Next out is a kind of follow on from something that he previously already managed to track down for me. This is the beautiful kimchi DVD releases of the raid, of which there is a few. We did white versions, black versions, and this is the white version. This is uh, the raid, the first one. But gorgeous, gorgeous steel books and these beautiful full slip cases. A whole bunch of goodies. He previously managed to find me number two, um, but this was really one that I was also hoping to track down as well, still with its little poster intact. Beautiful, beautiful. And a nice photo book fit. I think looking like we're getting an extra surround for that book. And booklet this time round, and no, again, a mix, so partly Korean and partly in English. And uh, Kimchi releases under there, uh, this is under the, the blue label, I think. I've always really beautifully presented, really, really nice packaging. 
Very cool indeed. The next one out is one I've been after for so, so long. And again, it's also a Kimchi DVD title. And this is the release of... Christopher Nolan's Memento in a particular case. Absolutely beautiful release. Loving that the, the little kind of wee numbered credit card is in the style of the driver's license uh, for John Gamble. I will do a proper unboxing for this, but yeah, this is maybe one that I've been after longer than almost anything else. No idea how I've managed to find this, but extremely grateful. Very much looking forward to diving into that. Next up is one that he did tell me that he was sending over, but I didn't expect it to still have its slipcase. And this is the kind of release of Spacked Out, which sounds pretty incredible. I've heard nothing but good things about it. Kind of a coming of age, sort of teenage story about a group of girls who hang with a gang, um, produced by Johnny Toe, directed by Lawrence Lau. Beautiful, but yeah, oh, very stoked to also have the slipcase for it too, because I think the slipcase sold out in like 24 hours. But, uh, looking forward to diving into that one. Can you release them really, really good? Then we get another rare kimchi DVD title. This is again one that I've been after for the longest time and is the first and best Kingsman movie with the packaging that I like the most. It is very simple with the inside of the case there or the inside of the wardrobe. Very cool. And a still book release again, one still unbelievably still sealed. I'll do an unboxing for that as well in due course. One that I wasn't going to grab, but Kevin very kindly said he was going to probably at the same time as he was getting his, and is Arrow's re-release, uh, or the Arrow US release of New Fist of Fury with a whole bunch of new extras and new remaster, and beautiful cover art by Tony Stella. Uh, I think a new, brand new commentary by uh, Brendan Bentley, which I'm looking forward to checking out too, as well as a new commentary by... Uh, Frank Jang and Michael Worth as well. Excellent. This will kind of supplement and upgrade my 88 Films version. Unbelievably, there's still more to come. Uh, this is a Korean release, a CG Entertainment release of Bad Guys the Movie. Starring Mad Dong Suk, aka Don Lee. Kind of spin-off from a TV series. And I think the movie I actually enjoyed quite a lot more than the TV series, slightly bigger budget, but yeah, basically a kind of low-level suicide squad. So a group of villains are kind of all recruited by the cops to kind of help them infiltrate and take down this criminal organisation, but really good fun and beautiful to get another CJ Entertainment release. They're always really, really nice, these little digipacks. Very cool. And then another Kimchi DVD release. So you're noticing a theme emerging. I love the kimchi titles, and this is Atomic Blonde, a movie that I have slightly mixed feelings about. I think overall I do enjoy it, but I kind of feel you know, my expectations were a little bit higher. But absolutely beautiful, beautiful full slip for this. A blue collection aping the criteria on spine a little bit on this one. It was a steelbook, but I actually preferred the full slip of this version. And there's Charlize and Sophia Batella. Inside here we're getting a little kind of strange fold-out book with a few cards and a little promo sort of standy thing on the back. Very cool. Yeah, absolutely beautiful, beautiful presentation. And numbered, I think, to 400 copies. And this is number 53. And one more thing in the box and I've saved the best last, my best, I mean rarest, and one I never thought I would manage to get a copy of. And this is the Digipack release of The Handmaiden. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful packaging on this. Again, another CG Entertainment release. Uh, Park Chan Book's incredible Handmaiden. There is a steelbook of this, which is 
even more insanely rare and hard to get hold of uh, without spending a small fortune. This release in itself, the Digipack, normally goes for hundreds and hundreds of pounds. So even just this on its own, I would have been made up with. But the fact that Kevin found me all of these, I'm really absolutely bowled over. He's been such an incredible friend to me. I was able to get a few bits and pieces for him in Hong Kong. So I was able to, to sit, make sure that door goes both ways. So hopefully he's enjoying the bits and pieces that I sent over to him. But yeah, what an incredible box. What an incredible stash of stuff. Thank you so, so much to Kevin. Keep your eyes peeled for unboxings or let me know down below in the comments if you want to see unboxings for anything specific. I will in due course work through all these because I think it's well worth sharing the insides of these, particularly the Handmaiden um, and the release of Memento, ones that I've been after for the longest time. So I will definitely do videos for those very, very soon. But thank you very much for watching this. I'm very stoked to be back. Apologies I've been away for so long. I'll see you again on the next one. Take care.